Hi guys, welcome back to our course on NumPy. In our last lecture, we covered array indexing and today we are gonna learn about negative indexing and the use of ndime method. So let's get started. So first of all, what is negative indexing? So negative indexing, in negative indexing, we use negative indexes to access array elements from the end. Let's take an example that we need to print or access the last element of the second row in the given array. So index number for elements for second row will be like 1 comma n minus 1 when we are using positive indexing and where we want to access the nth element from the beginning. But in case of negative indexing, the index number for the second row will be like 1 comma minus n where we want to access the nth element from the last. Now please note the difference. In positive indexing, we are accessing nth element from the beginning and we are giving the value 1 comma n minus 1. But here we want to access the nth element from the last. So we are giving the values 1 comma minus n. Now let's do negative indexing for this array. So here by positive indexing the index of the last element of second row will be 1 comma 4 as is, it is the fifth element from the beginning and in general for nth element from the beginning the index number will be row count minus 1 comma n minus 1 and if we do negative indexing the index will be 1 comma minus 1 as it is the first element from the last or the nth element from the last. So in general for nth element from the last the index number will be row count minus 1 comma minus n. Now, so I have let's open move my on terminal. to the code path. Let me just write Python 3 and hit enter. Now, import numpy as np. Hit enter. Let's create a 2D array first. So I'm gonna create a 2D array. So I'm gonna write ARR2 is equal to NP dot array. And now since we know that the elements of a 2D array are 1D array, so I'm gonna pass two lists as its element. So let the list element will be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 2, 4, 3, 1 close the brackets and hit enter. So we have successfully created a 2D array. Now let's print. So I'm gonna write print the second element, sorry, the second row and the last element So it's gonna be ARR or array name one comma minus one. Because positive indexes start from zero and negative indexes start from minus one. So the second row and last element is one. Now let's print the array so we have printed the array and you can see that the second row and last element is one now some of you might be wondering can we pass both the values in negative indexes yes we can so 
for the last row it will be minus 1 and for the last element it will be minus 1 so second row and last element when we have passed both the values as negative is same it's 1 now let's print the second row and the second last element So I have written the command and now I'm gonna hit enter. So as you can see that the second row and the second last element is three. Now let's do it again by changing the row value. Now we are gonna print the first row and the second last element. So I've written the command and hit enter so the result is 2 as you can see from the array now i'm gonna do it again but this time i'm gonna give negative values so the result is again 2 this was all about negative array indexing So now I'm gonna give you an assignment that is create a 1D array and access its last element. Now, yeah, you have to use positive indexing as well as negative indexing while doing this assignment. So now let's move on to our next topic for today that is use of n-dime method. So n-dime method returns the number of dimensions in an array. The syntax is print bracket array name dot n-dime or first we can store the result in a or any variable like a is equal to array name dot n dime and then we can print a so let's see an example so i've opened my terminal i'm gonna write python 3 and hit enter i'm gonna import numpy as np hit enter now i'm gonna create arrays so first array is ar0 is equal to np dot array bracket i have passed the value 32 and this is a zero dimensional array or a scalar now i'm gonna create a 1d array so now i'm gonna create a 2d array So I've created a 2D array. Now, let's move on to the use of n-dime method. So I'm just gonna write print arr0 dot n-dime. So it's gonna give me zero because it's a 0D array. Similarly, to check the dimension of the 1D array, I'm gonna write arr1 dot n dime. So it shows result one. And in the same way, when we do it for 2D array, it's gonna print the result as two. So by the use of 
and die method, you can get the dimension for any array. It will display the result as the number of dimensions present in that particular array. Now the assignment for you is to print the number of dimension for the four dimensional array that you created as your the part of your previous assignment. So this was all about the use of endime function or endime method.